It was a fresh takeoff into the skies four months since the suspension of commercial flights due to the COVID-19 crisis. Kenya Air's first flight was to Addis Ababa, that is KQ400. It departed at 7.05 a.m. and it arrived back as KQ401 a few minutes to midday. I felt uh, nostalgic being back in the air. For the last uh, four months, we've done uh, very little flying uh, for most of us. Um, so it felt uh, good being uh, back in the air today. Mm. How many hours is it from Nairobi to Addis? Addis, uh, flight time is one hour 45 minutes. And today we were cruising at, uh, we went at 37,000 uh, feet, came back at uh, 40,000 feet. KQ 470 that left for Kigali a few minutes to 8 a.m was the first to arrive back as KQ-471 at 11.38 a.m. I'm a Kenyan, but I've been in Kigali, Rwanda now since January. I had gone to visit my wife. And I was supposed to come back in April, but COVID came. And so I've been stuck there and praying every single day for this day to come. And we thank God it's here now. This is awesome. We've been waiting for this and we were, the, we were praying. In fact, we were at the airport, we were the first ones. Uh, before they even opened and they, we had to wait for them to actually open to let us in. But the most symbolic flight, which was described as the most emotional, was KQ100 to London. Now, before the London takeoff, there was a ceremony to flag off the flight, and this ceremony was graced by the CAS Foreign Affairs, Ababu Namwamba. The measures that we have taken will ensure that we completely limit the risk of transmission of, uh, of this virus. Uh, and also, in addition to that, to continue with our normal safety procedures that will ensure uh, utmost safety uh, for, for your flights. All the players are compliant, and they are safe, and your health is assured. To wish Kenya Airways uh, the best uh, in terms of uh, international flights and also the domestic flights, because when they do good business, we also uh, benefit. And we're happy that uh, we have come to this point where we can give assurance to exporters of fresh produce that Kenya Airways is going to work with us uh, through this journey. And we know that you have bellies that are going to accommodate more of our produce and that we're willing and ready. We have capacity to be able to fill the bellies. All you need to tell us is which is the next destination and we'll give you cargo and keep you in business. This has been a tremendous, diff, tremendously difficult time for Kenya Airways staff when you, you know, you're basically your whole vocation is, is to put planes in there, put passengers in there and get them to their destinations and bring them home. And not to be able to do that is, is a really hard thing to do. We are now opening the skies again and for us this is very important as a country. Uh, because the economy, because of the business, and because of all those other activities that we need to interact internationally. The UK-Kenya bilateral relationship remains strong and is withstanding these new challenges. KQ has been symbolic in sustaining this relationship and we are truly grateful. You have been facilitating connections as the gateway to East Africa for social and economic relationships. We were delighted that flowers continue to be delivered to the UK, uh, as well as, of course, vegetables you keep feeding us. It's an illustration of the UK's demand for Kenyan tea, flowers and vegetables on our supermarket shelves. You are our ambassador extraordinaire, Kenya Airways. We look at you as a critical, indispensable diplomatic spearhead. And in Kenya's diplomatic footprinting, Kenya always is right at the heart of the branding and the presence of who Kenya is across the globe. We had a crew on the Kigali flight, videographer Josephat Ekiru Lokuya and reporter Jeremiah Eregai Lopeyok. And guess what? This was their first trip outside Kenya and they traveled all the way from Lodwa to be on this flight. On the flight to Kigali, my cameraman Josephat Ekiru and I arrived at the airport 
three hours before departure and by 6 a.m. we had already checked in. The procedures here are quite many because of the new health protocols. This was history in the making for us, as it was not only our first trip beyond Kenya, but also our first appearance at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and our first journey aboard Kenya Airways. A journey of many firsts. We were armed with our COVID-free certificates, as this is one of the key requirements to be allowed into Kigali. After being cleared at the immigration desk, our next stop was departure gate 15. The whole of my family is in Kigali. So it, it has been a long five months for me. Uh, but uh, I'm glad like now the flights are, are back in and we'd hope that it will stay that way so that it will be able to move around. Shortly after, Eric and I ascended the stairs into the Kenya Airways flight KQ-470. Passengers were experiencing a new environment, but that did not matter. The wait had been too long. And on my first international flight, what a rare opportunity to interact with the pilots. Pilots with the new normal will play a key role in keeping passengers informed about the new health measures on board. Everything was normal. However, uh, COVID is the new abnormal. Um, hopefully, um, we'll increase our frequency depending on the passenger numbers that come on board. Uh, we cannot really predict how many uh, flights will be operating regionally or even uh, um, locally. However, uh, as at now, we are taking one step at a time. Kigali is one hour behind Nairobi. On this route, there will be one flight daily, except on Monday and Wednesday. My name is Prosti. I'm Ugandan by nationality. I've been in Rwanda for the past few years, so I had traveled to Kenya for medical uh, treatment until the lockdown. So it's really exciting to just be back, finally, you know, after all this waiting. Naitwa Nyamugwera Zaroti. Nafuraia kwenda inji yangu ya kizalikio, Rwanda. Nilikuwa na safili, changa la corona likani zuia uko, munda wa miezi inna. We have landed at Kigali International Airport. The passengers are now disembarking from this Kenya Airways plane. It has been indeed a safe journey and a comfortable one. Well, according to Kenya Airways, the destinations and frequencies will change depending on demand and regulations put in place by various countries.